gone. Yeah. The meanest ones are always cowards. Uh, can I help you? No, it's all right. Uh, we're looking for old lady Hickerson. Uh, I'm old lady Hickerson. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry about the uh, old lady remark. I mean, I mean, you are a lady, but you're not that old. I mean, you're, you're not old at all. I mean, you're old enough. Uh, I'm Jack Taylor. I'm Steve's father, and I'm real upset. See, Steve tells me that you've given him three tardies, and he's never even been late. I think it's terrible when a teacher singles out a kid and crushes his spirit. You know, you're supposed to be encouraging these kids, motivating them to love learning. Now my kid's going to have to go take English class in summer school. Is that your idea of being a good teacher? Because if it is, I think you should just get out of the profession. You finished? I think so. A little over the top there, Dad. <laughs> the reason I've given your son three tardies is because he's been tardy three times. Actually, four, but I gave him a break the first time. Not true. As soon as I hear that bell, I head for class. <laughs> what do you mean, as soon as you hear that bell? Every day before English, I walk Heather Williams to her science class. She dates seniors. <laughs> anyway, as soon as I hear the bell, I head here. Steve, isn't the science department on the other side of the campus? So? So Carl Lewis couldn't get here before the bell stops ringing. Steve seems to have difficulty understanding that class starts when the bell rings. He thinks class starts when he gets here. <laughs> He comes in after I do, and you never give him a tardy. Yeah, yeah, what about this, this Elliot, what's his name? How come he gets such special treatment? Elliot is in a wheelchair. <laughs> He's in a wheelchair? It makes a difference. Miss Hickerson, I'd like to apologize for every word I've said. I appreciate your patience, and let me assure you that from now on, Steve will be on time. <laughs> A wheelchair. It's motorized. 